All right, a couple of videos ago, I said they were going to do something with the fuel. Now, here we got the government website, and we're talking here about the uh, fuel package that they allegedly made early this year. Uh, if you want to read it, it's a lot of bollocks, but you know, it talks about how they get all of Australia's fuel, they dig it out of the, or they mine, and what do they do? They stick it up, they get it out of the ground. And then they send it over, all over to the United States for storage. Isn't that great? But the news tonight said something about uh, the the uh, fuel from uh, Singapore. A bit of a shortage going on. Could be due to the, the transport, you know, ships and stuff like that. Anyway, then what they did was they come back with us with this one here. After they did this one here about a week prior... There's a truck driver came in, <coughs> spreading the boogeyman, uh, exposure sites and blah, and rah, rah, rah. Then this one today, uh, you know, exposure sites, bloke didn't come in, he wasn't vaccinated, yeah, rah, rah, rah. Um, they're after the transport. Now, a week ago, Star Trek, you know, Star Trekking across Australia, Star Trek, they had a strike for 24 hours, which just goes to make a big backlog of stuff they have to get rid of. And then the parcel delivery as FedEx workers go on strike as well. Another big hold up for the transportation of stuff. Now, Victoria Police, they're going to be jabbed. Uh, you know what I mean? Now have a look at this. This is their the badge. This is their patch. The the Victoria Police patch. Uphold the right. And what do you got here? You got the shade, you got the darkness and the light. And these are like uh, you know, what's going on in the dark? And they don't know about what happens in the dark. And this here is the, the laurel wreath under Rome. When you see a wreath, it indicates uh subject to Rome. Uh, there you got the how it all goes into the cross there. That uh, I know what I can't think of the name of that jolly cross now. But uh, look, goes into the the star and right in the centre there. You know, like the glory star. You know what I'm saying? And there, here it is here again up here on the, with the uh, fleur de lis and the the banking crown, the crown of the city of London, no doubt about it, and the Maltese cross on the top. Yeah, nothing is ever what you think it is, eh? Uh, that uh, inverted pentagram, bit of a worry to me. You know, this one here, the pro the Premier of New South Wales to resigned today. Um, there's a bit more into that, I'd say, what they're talking about. She was involved in something with some bloke and all the rest of it. Uh, she's done this, you know, she had locked down the, uh, New South Wales and did her job, off to the bunker now, you know, handlers of, you know, time for you to go to the bunker, get out of the way before it all goes south. Anyway, me and the business sort of things, Evergrande, that mob, fails to pay. No, but don't worry, it, it may oh look, there's so much talk about this stuff, just watch it, that's all you can do. Um, I know the Chinese central bank is bailing out the banks involved in this. I think they put in fourteen billion dollars or fourteen million or something like that just recently. So all banks worldwide are connected. It's an evil web of lies. Everything is connected. So all banks that have put money into this are connected to this, and it's all done. Whatever's done in US dollars has to be paid back in US dollars. So we just have to wait and see. China is expected to stop phosphate exports and food production rises are coming. Prices set to rise. Well, that's not to be unexpected, isn't it? Um, so that's on top of the fuel shortages that are coming, on top of the transport issues that are happening, on top of the backlog of freight that is happening, 
on top of the lockdowns and we've just had Shepparton go into another one. So I don't think I'll be, um, I don't think we'll be having much of a Christmas, to be honest with you. Um, also, I'll probably be going dark soon, simply because of the fact that um, uh, where I exist, there's a, there'd be 80% single dosed by now. Uh, there'd be 60% double dosed by now in the area that I live in. Um, also, so the uh, the handlers, the the controllers would have their useful idiots out and about uh, watching people, all the watchers will be there, watching, they're, they're just the useful idiots for the system, right? And um, I think, I'm pretty sure under the Biosecurity Act of 19, oh, sorry, of 2015, um, they're not going to let people who are not unjuiced, not going to let them stick around. So if you're living next to somebody who's juiced, guarantee they will useful idiot themselves dub you in as unjuiced and they'll come and drag you away three o'clock in the morning in your nighty, whatever you wear in the bed. And um, so there you go. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if all this starts rolling out before Christmas. Okay? Before, because all these promises of flights, it just doesn't sound right. So I might be going dark soon. Cheerio. That'll be all for now. Uh, over and out.